Kriye, when a person rises to political power, what do you think causes them to use it for good or bad? What do you think causes an inherently good person to be able to uh, be bought and sold? Well, it's connected to, that's a comment uh, Kriha is putting on Sensor2, and it links up with the comment that Elder God put on Twitch, right? Epstein Island, right? One of the reasons, like when someone decides to go into politics, there, there's a certain type of person that you've known them, I know them, right? There's some people that are genuinely, you know, they get fed up with the bullshit and later on in their lives they wanted to get into politics they get into politics right usually those people tend to be good or try to improve society the career lifetime politicians they've been trying to get into politics since they were really young right and they encounter a lot of people that are like epstein deep state controllers billionaires millionaires uh corporations whoever they might be and there's a lot of incriminating evidence of some of the shit that they've done throughout their lives it's called blackmail right so a lot of politicians that are, are in control of our societies right now there's videotapes pictures of them doing some nasty stuff that that must be must be obvious to anyone that's even opened one eye right and has just read one in-depth article Right? Just read one in-depth article from um, Webb, um, what's her name, Whitney Webb, regarding Epstein, and you'll never be the same person ever again if you've never encountered the stuff, right? So there's a lot of blackmail going on, right? They've done some bad stuff, right? Involving little children, right? Involving drugs, involving orgies, human sacrifice, whatever it might be because that has happened right and indeed temporary peace says it you can call it child r x p e right israel calls it foreign diplomacy exactly right because a lot of those people are connected with just record uh, whitney webb right with mossad and cia and the criminal element i just listened to an interview with uh, what do you call it here i'll link it up for you guys here, I'll link it up for you guys. Let me grab it. Okay. Let me grab this thing. Listen to this interview. And it doesn't even begin to cover what's going on. With Kim Iverson. Okay. And it's Whitney Webb. I've listened to a lot of interviews by Whitney Webb. Okay. But I'll link up this in all three chats. Okay. Just so you guys know. Like, listen to this interview. Okay. That's the sensor too. Here's the Twitch. Here's the Rumble chat. Okay. So if if you're new to this, if you you want to find out some of the people who some of these people are that are govern rule over us, these monsters, right? Take a look at this interview. Right. Listen to this interview. If you like Whitney Webb, and if you want to go down the rabbit hole, find out what's going on in the world, just go down the Whitney Webb rabbit hole, right? Read her in-depth articles and listen to some of the interviews she's done. She's done a tremendous amount of interviews, a lot of articles, right? You don't have to like her. It's, this is not about liking the person, okay? This is about trusting their reporting. And she's an investigative reporter. If, uh, Korea, you want to find out why, as I'm going to read your comment again, when a person rises to political power, what do you think causes them to use it for good or bad? What do you think causes an inherently good person to be able to be bought and sold? Blackmail, money, extortion, fear, right? Some of them get convinced that, you know, brainwashing, they join the cult, right? There's a lot of people that have joined the climate cult. We must save the planet, right? There's a saying that I heard that says, if anybody comes to you and says the solution is global, you can pretty much call it BS, right? So if someone comes to you and said, oh, climate is changing, oxymoron statement, weather changing, it's called climate. Cl climate, <laughs> climate has change in the word, right? But climate is changing. We must globally ban carbon. 
And you turn to them and say, wait a second, me and you are carbon. Yes, we must sp stop breathing. That's their ultimate. You extrapolate, do the calculus. In the limit, they want to exterminate humanity, right? They don't know this because they're in a cult. They're in a death cult. But that's what they're working towards, right? So some people belong to a cult. But um, look into her. Go down the Whitney Webb rabbit hole. And you, pretty soon you'll know what's what. Okay. Pretty soon you'll know what's what.